It's always a big deal when the Big Five takes center stage and city bragging rights as well. And this is what we had on Wednesday night as the Penn Quakers took on the LaSalle Explorers from Tom Gold Arena here on the campus of LaSalle University. In the first half, the Penn Quakers would bring the fight to the LaSalle Explorers as they would just dominate LaSalle. The Explorers had no answer for them in the first half as Penn would take a 40 to 27 lead at the half. But in the second half, things changed differently as LaSalle came out and brought the fight to the Quakers as Penn would hold on to win this game 77 to 74. Penn head coach Steve Donahue would discuss his team's success tonight against LaSalle. I've been watching, even over this four-game stretch, we played extremely hard. Uh, I think we played uh, good basketball. We, we've been really destroyed by fouling, and then combine that with we, teams that made foul shots against us at a high rate. We haven't gotten to the foul line, and we shot a very poor rate. If you took that aspect out of the last four games, we've really competed. I thought St. Joe's game, we shot 62% inside the arc. We guarded them well, but they crushed us on the foul line. I thought if we could guard without fouling somehow, um, it, it would help. I also think playing uh, Dead Goodman tonight, another point guard, enabled us to move the ball better, uh, share more of the assists in the first half, combined with Darnell. I thought that was a key, and I thought he played really well for stretches. What do you Penn freshman forward A.J. Broder, who was the leading scorer in this game with 35 points, would discuss his performance tonight. Uh, yeah, I think um, uh, for our, our scout, knowing the personnel today, we were able to get um, get things going all around. Uh, I was able to uh, activate my dribble in the post and uh, really know where I was comfortable in the post. And I think that's where the majority of my points come from is inside. But also, uh, I was able to step out a couple times for three, and I think that... Um, they underestimated my range a little bit, and I was able to take advantage right there, and then that made them, uh, that opened up a lot more for not only me, but also my teammates. Um, Matt Howard hit some big shots down, uh, down the line at the end of the game. Ryan Bailey, he was able to get open. And, um, LaSalle head coach Dr. John Gini would discuss what adjustments his team made in the second half to come back in this game. We uh, stopped hedging on the ball screens. We, we had our big guy play center field and just play back, and and uh, if the big guy scored, we were going to make him make a one-on-one -on -one play as opposed to getting an angle for a layup or a pass over the top. Um, so we, we got a lot more solid. We started to go under on ball screens with some of the guys that weren't their, their top shooters. So I think we guarded them more intelligently and better in the second half. Of course, you know, uh, Pookie out, BJ's foul trouble, and Demetrius' illness were big factors that we just wanted to overcome, but we couldn't. And there you have it as the Penn Quakers would hold on for a 77-74 win over the LaSalle Explorers. And now Penn goes back into Ivy League play as they take on Harvard. While LaSalle will go back into conference play as they will take on St. Joe's. Reporting live from Tom Gold Arena here on the campus of LaSalle University, I'm David Melandra.